Hello YouTube. We have the Ricoh Officio SP100 Monolizer printer for unboxing. So far I was using a HP all-in-one inkjet printer. I used it very rarely and every time I try to print I find the cartridges are dried out. I have hardly taken 50 prints and uh, and have already changed the cartridges thrice so far. So around 4000 rupees for the inkjet printer, around 5000 for the cartridges and I just took 50 prints out of it. So instead of investing more on the inkjet printer, I bought this as I found it really cheap. The MRP of the printer is 6500 and this is available online anywhere between 2000 to 6000 rupees. I bought it on Amazon for 2500 and moreover the cartridge in this printer can be refilled making it uh, really cheap to maintain. While other manufacturers want you to buy a new cartridge every time, Rico is supplying toner refill pouches for around 600 rupees and uh, that gives around 2000 prints. Amazon has shipped the printer in this large box full of air packets. This box is large enough to hold 4 or 5 of these printer boxes. Though it's a big box, I'm not satisfied with the packaging because the printer is kept in a corner and then filled with air packets. Ideally, printer should be in the middle, middle of the box with air packets all around to provide cushioning on all the sides. So let's open the box and see what's inside. First we have the power cable with a 2 pin plug. Warranty card, unstamp it since it's an online purchase. Setup instructions, this is a printout, maybe specific to India. Firmware update CD. Then there's a long USB cable. the driver CD. Then we have some more instructions and information. And finally the printer is out. So this is the printer, the paper input tray, this needs to be pulled out. Another extension seems to have fallen off. This is the maintenance door. This is where the cartridge is and in case there is a paper jam we can clear that from here. The cartridge can be pulled out and it comes out without much effort and this is the cartridge. This opening is for refilling the toner. 
and this is for draining the wall toner powder. And it goes in without much effort. This is the paper output tray. It's a trifold tray, very light and delicate. Capacity of input tray and output tray is 50 sheets, but uh, even that seems to be heavy and especially the output tray needs to be handled carefully. Rico says it is the thinnest laser printer with around a height of 12 cm, 40 cm width and 38 cm depth. It may be thin, but it comparatively needs larger foot space and with the cable set back, extended input and output trays, it takes up a large area on the table. Let me walk you through the printer and later I'll also print a test page. This is the front side which has the output tray and the model number is mentioned here. The buttons and indicators. This is the paper output tray. Rico branding is on the top on the maintenance tray. This is the maintenance tray from where we can access the cartridge or a jammed paper. This is the paper input tray. There is nothing on the right side. On the back we have the USB port on the left and the power cable socket on the right. On the left side of the printer, we have the printer on off switch. Paper insertion instructions are there besides the input tray. So that's the printer. I'll switch off the camera now and I'll be back after connecting the printer to the PC. I just completed installing the printer. We have two CDs supplied in the box. The first CD is the printer driver CD which needs to be installed first. Do not connect the printer unless it asks you to do so. Just insert the CD and follow the instructions. It is very simple. And while selecting the printer, we have to select Rico Officio SP100 DDST. And after installing the driver, install the smart monitoring utility which is also there on the CD. Once that is done, we have the firmware update CD. This CD has the printer firmware update and should be used only after installing the printer driver. So use it only after the work with the first CD is complete. It hardly takes 5 minutes for all this process and I have completed that. So let me try and uh, print a test page. We have the power on off switch on the side of the printer. This is the smart monitor utility from where we can set the paper size or see printer status. The tool also keeps track of the number of prints taken from this PC. The toner does not use an electronic chip so this does not keep track of the toner levels. We can print a test page from here. I have the paper inserted so Clicking the test print button. It is showing some error. It says out of paper or misfeed. I guess the paper is not inserted properly. I will correct that. 
we have to press the form feed key to retry. Again the same error. It took me a couple of tries to finally get a print. I had only one paper in the input tray and when there is a single paper in the input tray it is throwing the error and I had to realign the paper. But the printer is working with no issues when there are at least 3 or 4 papers in the input tray. So let me try a test page now. Switching on the printer. I will print the configuration page. This is the print of the configuration page. We will print a test page now. The printing speed is good. I think the print speed is 13 papers per minute. So here we have the test page printed. The issue when there is a single paper could be a one-off issue. Other than that I am happy with the speed and quality of prints. I have taken a few prints and they turned out good with uniform quality. So I do recommend this printer especially since it is available at huge discounts now. Speed and quality is good and with refillable cartridge and uh, Rico supplied toner powder it is really cheap to maintain. So do consider this if you are in need of a monochrome printer. That's all in this video. Do hit the like button if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.